Jess, thank you. Well, all new at nine as more people are vaccinated, millions of others continue to wait to get their dose. And with a timeline of who's next and when still up in the air, experts say some people are experiencing a new feeling. It is called vaccine envy. And joining us right now with more on how to handle that feeling is licensed mental health counselor Chantal Abbas. First of all, good to see you. How are you? You too. I'm good. Thank you, Amy. Good. All right. So let's talk first about where this is happening. And a lot of it right now is just happening within the senior community, right? It's like so-and-so got their vaccines. I've been trying for weeks. I can't even figure out how to book an appointment. And, and people start getting frustrated. Yes, well, it's happening in the senior community and with, you know, some frontline workers. Sometimes it's unfair. It feels unfair. You know, some people get it before others. Everything isn't always perfect in how this happens, right? So it's normal to kind of feel a little bit of anxiety about that. It's kind of like you're waiting in line for concert tickets or something big, and, and the anxiety builds because we're anticipating something. So the first thing to really recognize is the feeling. Um, I think a lot of times we feel shame and the fact that maybe we're feeling some jealousy especially in a situation like this because people are getting a vaccine and, and getting better so we push those feelings aside and we don't acknowledge them so first we need to acknowledge it so that we can deal with it and address it that's very important and also sort of being in charge of your own destiny right and, and say like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna try harder or I'm gonna maybe try this or have somebody help me to go online instead of just sitting there and feeling sorry for yourself actually maybe being more proactive Right, doing the research, getting on the waiting list, also just helping others who maybe are before you, helping them get on the waiting list, realizing that this is about the big picture. I know that it's hard sometimes to see that, but the more people are vaccinated, the better we all are, and recognizing that it's okay to feel anxious and a little bit jealous, but then addressing that thought and reframing it as there's a reason behind this, and we can be part of making things better. And then what about if you're the person and who's on the recipient of that, right? You've already gotten your vaccine. You're feeling grateful, but maybe somebody says to you, you know, something kind of snarky or not very kind about you already getting it and them not. How do you handle that? I think it's really about realizing it's not about you and kind of separating that uh, statement and emotion from yourself as a person and realizing just that, that the person is, is anxious. They want the vaccine. You know, everyone feels like they've lost control in the situation and they want to get back to normal life. And a lot of people look at this vaccine as like a get out of jail free card. We're, we're free. You know, we can live our lives. We can have a vacation or whatever it is. And so realizing that that person is not like showing off to you or they're not being snarky to you but they're just they're just feeling their own sense of excitement due to the anxiety and the lack of control that we're all feeling so really all in the same boat wow it's a subject i thought we would never ever talk about chantal but here we are vaccine <laughs> yeah. envy and hopefully in a couple of months we won't be talking about it anymore thank you so much we appreciate you being with us thank you all right danielle all right amy thank you coming up next a new study finds that